Happy Holidays from Alcohol Academy. Now, as we enter the holiday season, uh, we thought it would be nice to, to bring a review of a nice warming drink. Applejack. Alright, so as I said, uh, we'll be, I'll be talking about I'm Here Alone, by the way, if you, in case you didn't notice. Um, Aaron's out of the studio right now, um, so I'm doing this by myself, and plus he's not very much of a, a brown liquor guy, so I figured I'd just do this one myself. Um, let me give you a little background on Applejack. Uh, this was popular in the colonial area, era, and uh, um, when uh, Johnny Appleseed was uh, kind of going up and down the Ohio River Valley preaching um, and passing out his apple seeds, but he also taught them how to make Applejack. And uh, this, this term, the Applejack, um, obviously apple, they use apples, and the jack that's added to it is, re that refers to the process of freeze distillation, and uh, this was called, that process, it was called jacking, and it was basically, you know, taking cider and putting it outside where it's really cold, and, uh, and, and freezing it, and then, removing bits and chunks of ice that would start to form um, and then the resulting alcohol would be con more concentrated so it would yield about 40 percent ABV which is what you get with uh, this Applejack and now this Applejack this uh, brand here Laird's which is one of the more popular brands actually doesn't use that method anymore the, f the, the freeze distillation so it's not technically Jack Applejack but um, it still yields the same product. Um, it's just they use a different method. But that's where the jack comes from. Jacking is that process of freeze distillation. Uh, so that's a little bit of background on it. So I'm just going to go ahead and pour it now and give it a try for you. Now this is a. Uh, while not technically a brandy, uh, is very similar to a brandy and a lot of times is sometimes referred to as apple brandy. Um, so if you're familiar with that at all, uh, you'll kind of understand. It looks like a brandy, whiskey, yeah, it has that dark, that nice golden brown color there to it. Um, smells like apples. It smells like a nice, fresh, Granny Smith apple, and I believe that's um, one of the more popular types of apples to use in this is Granny Smith apples, and you can definitely smell the apple. And um, also, as a side note, um, why well, kind of why I decided to, to review this is uh, my roommate actually uses this in, to make apple pie, and Alton Brown his recipe for apple pie actually calls for applejack, so that's why this was kind of sitting around here. Um, so it smells like apples. And it tastes like apples. Like there's, there's a very strong, uh, almost overwhelming taste of apples. It's almost like drinking, um, I'm sure you've probably tried, uh, Angry Orchard, or some other brand of apple cider that has that taste to it, but with the bite and bitterness of of a brandy, um, but not quite as much bite as like a whiskey. And that's something that if you're a brandy fan or if you're familiar with brandies and whiskeys, um, you definitely know that brandy is a little is quite a bit sweeter than whiskey and doesn't have as much of that like oh that burn going down. But you still feel that warm, you know, in your chest. And you can kind of feel it going down, so that's that's nice. So if you're if you're not kind of into that that bite that you get from whiskeys and bourbons and stuff like that, brandies are are is a good alternative for a brown liquor. And this is this adds even more sweet to it. So this is really quite smooth. Um, again, smells like apple, tastes like apple, uh, but you get that warm feeling going down. That's why I chose this um, as as a good kind of winter drink. Uh, if you're sitting around, you know, by the fireplace, rainy day, this is a good, good choice. Good call. All 
right, so that was the review of Applejack. Thank you so much for watching. And please, uh, let us know in the comments what your favorite winter drink is. And as always, don't forget to check us out on our social media outlets. Happy holidays.